On our second day in Mexico, we decided to head out to Isla Mujeres, a small island just off the coast of Cancun that I'd heard so much about. So after a relaxing morning at our hotel, we headed to a nearby port to catch the ferry to Isla Mujeres. The boat ride to the island takes just about 20 minutes, but we enjoyed every second of it. I've never seen water so blue, it almost didn't look real. After arriving on Isla Mujeres, we rented a golf cart for the day to get around the island. Some friends of mine told me this is the best way to enjoy the island, driving through the little town to take in the sights and feel the laid back vibes of the island life. Even when we're free, it's true, the difference is the same. We drove to the east coast of the island where we found a little cemetery that caught Cambria's eye because it looked just like the cemetery from Disney's Coco. Across the street from the cemetery was a stretch of coastline that was basically tourist free, so we took a few minutes to relax, enjoy the sound of the ocean waves, and hunt for seashells. I knew we only had a few more hours until we had to head back to the ferry, so we headed to the northern tip of the island, stopping in the local market to do a little shopping along the way. And of course, when I saw this little beauty, you know I had to buy it. Finally, we arrived at Playa Norte, and it definitely lived up to the hype. Soft sand, crystal clear water with no seaweed, and delicious beachside nachos. I can think if you're in Cancun, you're more like for the all inclusives and like the nice luxury hotel. This has more of like a quaint, same kind of same vibe, but like more island. Yeah. As I floated in the ocean at Playa Norte, I couldn't help but look around and appreciate the beauty around me and I thought of how lucky we were to be in such a unique place of the world. Now we're just chilling out before we gotta ride the ferry back to Cancun. Yeah, it's a great night. In Mayan lore, this island served as the sanctuary for the goddess Ichel, the Mayan goddess of the moon, fertility, medicine, and happiness. At 7 o'clock p.m. we got on the ferry back to Cancun. We couldn't have picked a better time to catch a ride back. Everyone on our boat sat back and watched a glorious sunset on what was a memorable day. And I remembered one of my favorite sayings, Sunsets are the daily reminder to live in the moment.